we should be on stream. Oh, hold on. Let me change the uh, the chat so it shows up. should work. Yeah, all right. Cool. Uh, so I figured we'd just do the same thing again, but this time in Inkscape because I don't really know how to use this uh, software that much. I imagine it's a, it's a lot of the same, but Yeah, I imagine it's a lot of the same, but yeah, like I don't know how to use this, so we might as well just do it again. Um, I took a different inspiration uh, gate this time for the, the picture, but it should be about the same. Yeah, I hope it's similar too. I should I should put like Okay. Can I not duplicate it? How do I how do I duplicate something? Alright, let me Alright, there we go. And then I want that to be this color. It's kind of ugly. Uh, or we could pick that and adjust the color. brown with the blue I don't know I figured I figured we'd go with like an orange something maybe something like this something like that pops you know what this looks good I'll just, I'll just stick with this this blue is better than we had last time it's like a deeper blue but it works if it works, it works. Alright. You know what? Let's do something different this time. Let's start, instead of doing the pillars, let's start off with, like, the animals first. Um, because I, I already did the pillars in the other one, but I didn't get to the animals. So that might be fun. I'm just gonna look up some pictures and uh, and go from there. Get some animals. animals. Here's the unicorn cow thing. And now we're gonna go find one for the dragon. Yeah, this part does look way <laughs> more fun to design. Especially since we already did the the gate part of it. This would uh this would be more fun. I can't find anything good. Um which is a weird. Right. Let me 
just grab this one. Alright, there we go. Yeah, might as well just skip to the decoration. <laughs> Got the pillar set. For this, I might just trace it, or, or, we could do this, we could, we could take a rectangle and just expand it to fill in the shape of the cow. Now, I don't know if that's gonna work, but, hmm, might as well try. Can I not create any other points on here? Oh, is this it? Let me collect the nodes. No. Insert nodes. All right. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Alright, it might be harder to do on this than it is on Affinity. Oh, okay, hold on, I can insert a node on max y. Somehow. I go to object properties and do I if I don't preserve the ratio and now it automatically does that okay yeah the the insert new nodes like I don't know how that works it's a it's a bit finicky apparently I hope I'm not selecting Link. It says select up to two nodes and then click on the insert. Okay, so I click that one and I click that one. Where? Maybe try it with another one. Are the, is this the node? Is that what I'm missing? Oh, look. This makes it into not a tri rectangle. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I'm kind of stumped. Maybe let's try it. Um, let's try just create or edit meshes. Ooh. All right. Uh, maybe we just trace it and then we can just fill in the colored area. Maybe that'll work. And we could just do we could just do one colored area at a time. To make it so I don't have to focus on it for too long because I feel like that would uh, that would take a lot of concentration
right. Let's edit these lines. See, look, I could just I could just do it for the lines on that one, but I couldn't for the for um the shapes, which is kind of weird. But okay, it is what it is. That was controlling the uh, middle mouse butter, but button. If I can just fill this in, the color white, maybe, please. Let me just try another color, something. Okay, there we go. Oh, maybe I should make this another layer. in layer one so we don't mess around with it. And so for the cow layer. Oh, hold on. Alright, both of them are unlocked. And then we move this one to cow. Okay, and then we can lock layer one. And now all right, so now it's selected, and we can just move it around again. Sweet. Um, all right, so let's see if I can remove like the outline lines. Fill in stroke. Stroke, maybe. Uh, stroke style. Right, can I just get like nothing? Uh, yeah, it does look pretty good. Um, oh, there we go. No paint. That works. Uh, let me turn down the opacity just a little bit. I can we can uh, continue to outline the, the back of it better. All right, so we take this. Just put it on the corners. And then we can That's the keyboard shortcut is in. Okay. Can just fit that right in there. So it looks better. And take the drop, select a color, and then bam, we've got a foot. Cool. 
Won't, won't I need an outline eventually? Um, no, I don't think so. If we can just have it like, cause this doesn't really have an outline. It's just a solid piece of color. So it, it would look better. Is the original a mosaic? Ah, uh, maybe, I really couldn't tell you. Let me look it up. I mean, it does stand out from the wall, so maybe. But this one looks painted on. I think it might just be paint. Mm, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, it might be both. It might be. It might be some brickwork that they painted. That would. That it could be that. All right. All right. Let's do the other parts. Let's do this blue part right here. Let me try this sh with the shapes again. Oh, no, I already tried this, I think. Yeah. Man, I really wanted that to work. Okay. Whatever. I think we just do this a bunch of times and then we can get the final product pretty easily. You know, I don't really like that blue. Not a fan. We go for a lighter one like that one, yeah. it so that it covers up every bit. Well, 
it is borrowed. <laughs> Was what I uh, I don't know, but like, was the original was the original Gate of Babylon um one of the old wonders of the world? They're like the eight. There's like eight of them, I think. I don't know. But I'm like pretty sure the Gates of Babylon were one of them. We can look that up later. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Okay, let me just fill it in white and then no stroke paint. Just make that a part of our lower opacity. I'll look it up. All right, let me know. Let me know. I'm curious about that too now. it in too early. See now, if I'd done that, I wouldn't have known what it looked like underneath. Let me just... Alright, now I fill it in. Take that and take that. Turn up the opacity. All right, <laughs> we got two legs working. Looks like it was not one of the wonders of the world. Really? I'm pretty sure something from Babylon was. Only seven. I think those are like the new ones. I, I'm pretty sure they had like the ancient wonders of the world. Maybe it's on that list. All right, now let's do the let's do the big one. <laughs> I keep rotating it. Let's just, oh, let's do the tail instead of going. Yeah, let's not do a a big portion of it at a time, because I feel like that would make it really easy to mess up. Let's just let's just do like different portions of the body at a time.
<laughs> Have I finished the book? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I finished, I, I listened to the audiobook, and I didn't actually read it. It's a pretty good book. Personal Finance. It's a bunch of, um, allegories? I'm pretty sure that's the word. Allegory is like uh, a small story that has a purpose, right? Because <laughs> if that is, then that's exactly what I'm thinking about. Includes the hanging gardens. Oh, that's what I was thinking about, not the gate. That is a bummer. That's a bummer, dude. You know, it's kind of cool. They have, it looks like they have like different hairs over here because you have one that goes like that and then one that goes like that and then one that goes like that. And then in order to show off the tail, we might have like a darker blue um, for the shadows. You like listening to books? Yeah. I mean, it's just nice to just kind of like do something else. I listen to audiobooks when I do laundry sometimes. You know, just something to listen to while you're folding your clothes. a bit funky. You just have another point on the thing. Alright, that's part one of the tail. I've done a lot of dishes just because I wanted to read the book. <laughs> Leave it as that. It's it's a minimalistic anyway. Not gonna have too much detail. Just enough. Because again, this is this is supposed to be for a book, and I don't think a lot of people are gonna pay too much attention to each individual animal, which we won't do for each individual animal. We'll just copy and paste them, but. I don't think it'll be a big deal because like if it was an actual book it'd probably be about this size you wouldn't even really notice the tail so then you don't spend a lot of time on it just to make your life nice and easy just connect this part it looks like it looks like the all of this is supposed to be blue I can't really tell about over here but 
kind of looks like it should be. So we'll just we'll just do uh, all of that. down a little lower head more blue yeah I'm working on it Fill that in with the blue. Take out the stroke paint. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what our what our horse thing looks like so far. It's just a bunch of mangled shapes right now. <laughs> We're getting there. I mean, like. It's it's slowly making its way into a unicorn cow thing. Let's just do all the blue parts first. I mean, since we're since we're already here, we might as well just. the blue parts. Alright. Then fill that in. I've been listening to a lot of just just one song by Fleetwood Mac. Um, dreams, and it's stuck in my head, and I can't stop humming it now. It's a good song. No doubt about it. 
This cat looks stressed. Look at him. Oh no. I'm on a wall. Yeah, Fleetwood Mac is good. Yeah, I I should I should listen to some other songs by them. Maybe that'll help. Getting some variety, yeah. Not bad. All right. Uh, you know, now that I've done this, I <laughs> I kind of regret it because now I'm going to have to be super careful with the white parts of, um, of this, this unicorn because unless I could just go underneath... No, because it's just all one layer. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to be super careful about that. That is, maybe not. No, yeah, no, I will. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one one thing Affinity does better than um, Inkscape is it makes changing uh, the order of the layers very easy, uh, a lot easier than this. But you live and you learn. I just make a horn. Blue scarf on your cow. Yeah. It's it's chilly on a wall. Those those chilly Babylonian nights. Wouldn't want to get them. Wouldn't want to be cold. too late. 
Yeah, that looks about right. Ooh. It's dusty up in here. It's not a unicorn horn. I think it's just a side view of two horns. Okay. I just thought this was a unicorn. Is that, is that like an extinct animal or is that like an actual just animal? Is a cattle of, is a type of large wild cattle that inhabited Asia, Europe, and North Africa. Oh, it's extinct. What a bummer. We have to do it justice on the book cover, yeah, for sure. Alright, now we're getting to the the harder part. Or I mean it doesn't have to be. We could just break it down into smaller, smaller pieces, like we have for the rest of it. Like we just start with the ear. Yeah, let's just start with the ear. And that'll just be a piece on its own. Break it down into pieces so it's not intimidating to do. Uh, yeah, we just change the cap. That does anything. Make it rounded. That works. All right, so there's it's got like the the inner ear and the outer ear. We'll do that. We'll we'll, we'll just have the outer ear outlined so that we can. Get the inner ear will make those two different colors so it looks like an actual ear Same thing again. Bam, now he's listening. <laughs> or you know, instead of that, instead of filling it that color, we just fill it as the as we have for um for the rest of the body. Yeah, because that like really stands out with it being so different. Now he's really listening. <laughs> Alright, let's do the head now. I guess a plus of doing it earlier was now that I have like these notes that I can just um, kind of hook onto.
Ooh, that looks messed up. Maybe just add another node and slide that in. You know, I kind of want to get into vector art. Sounds like a pretty sweet thing to do in your free time. It takes a long time to learn, though, or at least get good at at a decent level. Cause you gotta master the program and you gotta be kind of creative. Alright, there we go. That wasn't too bad. You just cancel that out. And now he has a face. Cool, cool. Alright. We'll give him some eyes later. Like their art does seem really fun. Uh, th there's some like really good artists. I forgot. Um, I forgot the name of this dude, but uh, over the summer I watched. I watched a lot of his like. Um, sped up vector creations and they took him like 20 30 hours to create one and he made this like one really realistic donut and it was it looked like a picture it was incredible uh you know what maybe i can just like look it up for you speed art that's what it's called um can't find oh no there it is yeah this dude uh hold on let me switch the this dude right here digital art creation he's got look at that that's that's a vector illustrated but it looks like it looks like an anime cupcake and that looks like an anime egg This is some flan. Maybe he didn't do the donut. Maybe someone else did, but he was really good too. We can check out a short video. I'll put it on double the speed. Off his already really fast. Yeah, this would take this takes so much practice. It's kind of intim intimidating, really. I still haven't gotten good at using gradients. I wonder how long this man has been doing it. Because, I mean, that's... Just speed it up all the way down in here. That that look that that looks so cool. That looks so good. It 
shadows seem like the hardest part? Yeah. You gotta get the light and the dark just right, and then you gotta blur it in. Anyway. I'll go back to... Thanksgiving. <laughs> where we can where we can work on our cow thing. Let's uh let's give him a neck. But yeah, I totally I totally recommend checking out digital art creations because he's, he's got some pretty sweet stuff on there. There's also uh, some that do like um, original characters. He he. So digital Crea creations does like uh, really good vector art that like looks realistic. But there's some that do like creative characters, and I I always thought that was super cool. I haven't been able to do that, but maybe one day if I get if I just practice more, I'll be there. Just a few more of these streams, yeah. <laughs> I wish. But I really wonder how long that, like, how long just that that flan took him. I'm I'm gonna guess somewhere in like. Twenties? I think it might have taken him like twenty hours to make that. That's my guess. I'm not actually sure, but it looked like a lot of work. Oh, let me save this file. Cow. This is the cow file. <laughs> let's give him a uh, let's give him a chest. We're we're building him bit by bit. It's like it's like playing with Legos. Digitally. None of the handles won't pop up. In. Uh, that looks a bit wonky, but it look better when it's part of the finished product. But yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a stream for today. Yeah, I'm just building up an arc from scratch. That's what we did today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna save this, and 
we'll come back to it next time I stream. Uh, yeah. Y'all have a good day.